Hello everybody, today we've got a bit of a serious video to do. So there is a social media campaign going on at the moment called Breed to Breathe. I'm just going to briefly touch on a lot of different things and kind of keep it short and simple for you guys. If you want to find out more, I'll put some links in the description to the campaign site and everything like this. So what it's doing is raising awareness for brachycephalic dogs. So that's dogs such as pugs, bulldogs, French bulldogs, basically any dog that's got like the squished nose. So there's been some research done over the past few years, there's been a huge increase in demand on these types of dogs. So they've been coming increasingly popular. Now with demand needs supply. So these types of dogs are very prone to having breathing issues. So this research found out that 90% of people with brachycephalic dogs did not know about the breathing issues, like at all. Didn't know about them, didn't have a clue about them. 10% knew about them, and of that 10%, a lot of them didn't do anything about it. I'll make an argument now that if you plan on getting one of these types of dogs, I would buy a proper one. And by that I mean like a Casey registered, a pedigree breed. By a proper breeder, this eliminates a lot of the kind of problems that these dogs have. These dogs need to be bred very carefully. Pugs specifically have been very poorly bred from like ancient Chinese times. They were bred specifically to look and act like that with the curly tail, so the satin high priestess sleeves or something along those lines and only very recently are they trying to like evolve them back the way to get the breathing problems right but some people aren't bothered about that and they're just breathing them with these problems so if 90% of people don't understand the problems I imagine a lot of breeders that are trying to hit this demand also don't know the problems and aren't maybe breeding them correctly some might some might not as well with crossbreeds just because it isn't a pug on the surface doesn't mean it doesn't have the pug problems underneath so a lot of people who have say like a chug that's a chihuahua pug cross are kind of like oh well it's just the chihuahua it's got just the cute face of a pug you don't know what you're going to get from either one it's a complete random game having a pug myself and sharing it with you guys i feel like i'm kind of an ambassador for advertising pugs i'm here showing you how good a pug is and you know you should go and get one because they're amazing dogs but like anything do your research make sure you are buying the right one just because someone tells you a car is fantastic doesn't mean you should go buy one now many dogs that aren't bred by proper breeders aren't casey registered might be completely fine i'm not saying they're not they might be even dogs that are bred completely properly by proper breeders casey registered can still have these issues and this is the point in this campaign it's to raise awareness People need to know about it. Now, a lot of people have mentioned this about Pablo and they've said he doesn't snore, he doesn't breathe heavy, he doesn't snore, and that's how a pug should be. If any of these dogs are heavily breathing, grunting, snorting, making groaning noises, they have an issue. It is not normal for a pug to make noise. Everyone just thinks that, oh, it's a pug making noise, that's what they like, they're just them cute little groaning. No. That is not what they're like. That's not what they're supposed to be at all. Like, I just want you to take a second now and listen to him. So I was holding him quite awkwardly then, putting a bit of pressure on his chest to hold him up, you know. Stuff that would cause them to breathe incorrectly. Now, with a brachycephalic dog, lifting them up like that, you should be very, very careful with them. But as you can tell, he is silent. Just like any other normal dog, that's exactly what he should be like. When he's been out on a walk and he's been tired, he'll pant. He doesn't grunt, he doesn't groan, he just breathes like a normal dog. He snores just as much as any other dog. When he's in an uncomfortable position, he snores. He doesn't just snore continuously. If any of you watching do have pugs or any of these types of dogs, then do just look out for the breathing problems. And if they do seem to have any excessive panting, grunting, groaning, snoring, anything like that, take them to the vets ask them. People get made aware of this issue and then don't do anything about it. Now the average lifespan for a pug is 10 to 12 years, which isn't very long, but that's an average lifespan. That's taken into consideration all the ones with breathing problems that will have a much shorter life. You talk to proper pug owners and they'll say they've had pugs that live to 17, 18 and are perfectly healthy. I've talked to other people who only had pugs for six to seven years because the breathing just caused so much stress on the heart. These problems develop over time, wearing collars, puts pressure on the neck, all stuff like this. You've got to be very, very careful with them. They are a very delicate dog. Spending a few hundred pounds less on a dog to get it from your mate Dave, whose dog got knocked up in the park sometime, is not the right way to go about buying one of these types of dogs. Yeah, it might be a couple of hundred pounds less. It's not Casey Reds, it's not Pedri, but it's still a pug. It's still a bulldog, you know. But when you take it to the vet and it's got breathing issues and they're telling you that it's going to cost three grand 
to get all the tubes altered in its throat and stuff and it might not make it through the surgery. Was that few hundred pounds worth it? Just a quick interjection here, if you have a brachycephalic dog and you aren't doing anything about its breathing problems, then you are giving that dog a very, very difficult life. It's struggling to breathe and if you were struggling to breathe, would you do something about it? Just because it can't talk and can't tell you that it's uncomfortable, it doesn't mean it's not. You buy a dog with a commitment to look after it. If it has an issue, it needs sorted. If you can't afford it, find a way. You have a responsibility to take care of that life. And if you're not, then that is just neglect. And that's why this campaign's going on, because there are a lot of dogs out there that are suffering and nobody's doing anything about it. So hopefully I, and then you guys, can. I hope I've made at least somebody aware this video. And if you did already know, then do go share stuff about, you know, let other people know. Having breathing issues is an issue. It's not a normality. This shouldn't be happening in these types of dogs. And it's me and you guys, as buyers of these dogs, that need to stop and get rid of all of these bad breeding Hope you enjoyed the video today guys. I know it's a slightly different one, but I feel like it's my place to kind of make awareness with having you guys follow me and watch my videos. So do go share this campaign about, make as many people as you can aware of it. Hit the like button, drop your comments down below, subscribe if you're new. And as always guys, peace out.